the REN framework, delivering a diagnosis following a memory assessment. This film is a result of research conducted at the University of Bristol. People living with dementia, or MCI, worked together with academics to observe and analyse real-life diagnosis feedback videos from memory services in different parts of the UK. These observations were used to come up with a suggested framework which aims to help the diagnosis feedback meeting go more smoothly for all involved. The framework is designed to be flexible and fits within your own service and personal style. We have called this the REN framework. Why are we here? Results and reasoning. Engage and next steps. We will go through each of these steps with some example reenactments. The researchers living with dementia or MCI found these steps to be the best way to make the diagnosis delivery clear and to make sure the patient and companion are fully supported. These reenactments are based on real life diagnosis meetings we filmed as part of our research. W is for why are we here. The clinician should start by clearly introducing themselves and any other people in the room and explain what roles everyone does. Hi Yvonne, I'm Claire. I'm one of the consultants here at the Memory Service. Hi. So you've brought someone here with yes. you today? This is Dave, my husband. Hi there. Nice to meet nice. you. And you. Hello Yvonne, my name's Claire. I'm one of the consultants here at the Memory Service. This is my colleague Amanda. She's from the Alzheimer's Society. Hello Yvonne, really nice to meet you. How was your journey here today? Oh, fine, just in a car, going along. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, this room can get a little bit warm. Would you like a drink or anything? No, I'm fine, thank you. I don't like you. Yeah, no, I'm fine, thank you very much. Explain the purpose of the visit. Don't ask the patient if they remember the purpose of the meeting or why they are there, as this can make it sound like a test. OK, so we're here to talk about your test results, the brain scan and the memory assessment. Establish how much the patient wants to know. Are you happy for me to talk about a possible diagnosis and what this might mean for the future? Definitely. If the patient appears to have difficulties understanding, make sure the companion is fully involved. Yvonne, this is your consultation, but do you mind if I maybe ask you both some questions? No, fine, because he remembers everything. R is for results and reasoning. Be clear but brief when explaining test results. People are waiting to hear the diagnosis. The scan showed more changes than we would expect. Uh, these results indicate that you do have dementia. When giving test results, it should be clear what you mean. For example, scores out of 100 aren't useful. Explain whether they are good or not so good. If you can show the scan image, that helps people engage. No, oh, is that bad? Not necessarily bad, but something that we definitely should look into and keep talking about. Don't use vague or mitigating language. Be clear in telling the person the diagnosis. Be clear what type of dementia. Looking at the changes in your brain, this could be Alzheimer's disease. Check in with the patient and their companion about their understanding and if they have any questions at each stage. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions at all? Allow time for different reactions and respond appropriately. Many people will be shocked and say very little. If someone is visibly upset, give them time. Don't overemphasize the word dementia, but do make sure it is clearly stated at least once. And if appropriate, be sure the companion is aware of the relevant information. It may be useful to explore people's reactions. For example, they may know people who have had dementia and want to talk about it. Yeah, my mum had it and I'm, I'm scared I'm going to be a bit like her. That's understandable, but every case of dementia is completely different. No two cases of dementia are the same, so you won't necessarily have the same experience as your mother. E is for engage, what we can do for you. If it's appropriate to prescribe medication, be clear about what it does and its side effects. Give the patient choice. Don't be prescriptive. There is medication that is available that can slow down the memory problems, but how do you feel about taking medication? Allow time for questions about medication. Will it clash with my blood pressure meds? That is a good question. 
give information about what support your service offers or what support is available in the surrounding area. Emphasise that people live well with dementia. Remember you're still the same person as you were yesterday. You can keep doing all the things that you love, learn new things, meet new people. Give people hope and reassurance. Talk about how patients can look after themselves. So yeah, I encourage you to keep doing the things that you love. What sort of things do you enjoy doing now? Singing. Singing. Grandchildren. Brilliant. Walking the dog. Fantastic. Fantastic. I still do those. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, she always liked doing crosswords, so... And Sudoku. Sudoku. Fantastic. N is for next steps. Check with the patient if they want to know about the future with dementia. There are a few things that are important to consider if you're okay to talk about that now. Yeah, yes, fine. fine. I'd like to do it now. I don't want to know how fast I'm going to go downhill, but other things, yeah. <laughs> Be honest about what can happen. Dementia is a condition that does get worse over time, but this happens very different for different people, and as a clinician it's quite hard to predict. Don't bombard the patient and the companion with information. If the patient has been diagnosed with dementia, you can now talk about the impact of dementia on driving. You can also ask if the patient is willing to talk about power of attorney. Consider how to give potentially unwelcome or difficult news that if the patient has a dementia diagnosis, they or their family member or friend will have to inform the DVLA, otherwise their insurance will not be valid. Be clear about what will happen with any follow-up meetings and when they will happen. Make sure the patient and companion feel supported. You may have lots of thoughts and questions that come up when you leave here today. If you have any questions, please feel free to call up the number that we have on the leaflet for you. Uh, and my colleague will be in contact with you for a home visit in a couple of weeks' time. If giving out paper information, make sure it is in an appropriate format. Be aware people might need easy read or information in different languages. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's good, isn't it? Got all the information we need. Yeah, read it later. That'd be good. Thank you. Thank you for watching our film and we hope you found it helpful.